Hi, this is Larry Trennell with part four of this beginning grazing session on my favorite pasture mix. There's a lot of the good grasses out there, but this video is going to upplay one of my favorite mixtures that I use a lot. Okay, so we're just, when you take a look at what are my favorite pasture grasses or plants, I would definitely say it's probably these two. So back in the early 90s, UW-Madison, they did a research grant on reed canary grass in the grazing system, and they found it to be the most profitable grass based on tonnage, um, not always the most or the highest quality grass, but based on tonnage and balanced with quality, they tended to find it the most profitable. So it's probably a grass that's probably the most versatile because it's uh, our most drought resistant grass and it's also our most wet resistant grass, so it can grow just about anywhere. And it has a kind of a different seasonal growth pattern than most cool season grasses where you tend to see a, a bigger fall. Um, growth pattern with reed canary grass than you do with some of the other ones. The, the, the legume here is Cura clover, which is a native of Eastern Europe. You don't see a lot of it either here or there, but it tends to be one of our bloatier type um, uh, legumes, but a very high quality. So the key to this whole system here is, is that the pasture that we're sitting in has probably not been tilled up in uh, 15 to 20, might even be a little bit longer than that, 24 years. And basically, it's still um, it's kind of running out its course now. But when you take a look at a, um, a system that can we can have for 10, 12, 15 years without having to till up, and basically getting about the the yield and the quality of what we can with an alfalfa crop. So the Kira clover can yield about 75% of what alfalfa does. And you put that with the reed canary grass, a little lower quality, but extremely high quality here and balance the two, you tend to have about alfalfa quality uh, pastures uh, with that. So it's just something that when you take a look at two pasture plants that are very difficult to establish, I like to kind of grow them in mixtures so I get about 35 to 50% legume and uh, the other 50% uh, grass. And when you grow them in this kind of a mixture, it's just again a very high quality uh, grass to, uh, to be working with. Again, difficult to establish, and with reed canary grass, we'll say that it sleeps the first year, it creeps the second year, and then it leaps the third year, and you'll see the same thing with cure clover. Again, very difficult to establish, so a lot of times in the first year, you're kind of thinking you got a seeding failure, which I tend to think every time I plant this stuff that it didn't come up, and then you come back in here two, three years later, and you tend to see a very good uh, catch of both of them. So again, just uh, an option for producers that are looking for a long-term uh, type forage crop, uh, especially for the grazing. Reed canary grass, it's nice if you harvest the first crop for hay and then graze it the rest of the year uh, just because it gets pretty lank or rank um, in the early part of it. So again, a good option, I think, for a lot of uh, cattle producers. As I close, I should also mention that this mix tends to get seeded down with two to three pounds of uh, perennial ryegrass or a bushel and a half of oats with about six to eight pounds of alfalfa. And as this dies out, the uh, reed canary grass and the cure clover tends to in increase in its strength over the time. And so many thanks to a lot of people, but especially to all the grazers who help each other learn. Thank you.